Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another episode on Helios. What are we doing today? Well, we are dealing with the sniffer eggs. So <laughs> let's go deal with those sniffer eggs and get us some sniffers. Hey guys, so we're off on another adventure. <laughs> One of my server mates has gotten some allay. They need to get them back. Unfortunately, they're like really far out. So we're gonna go help them with the project and hopefully it all goes well and we'll we'll see what all happens they didn't have any leads i had some so yes I, i'm gonna go help them out and everything should be good so this should be interesting we'll see if i end up dying somehow along the way we'll see we'll see what happens it should be fun stay tuned all right so we have an update we have reached our destination. However, my elytra is just about broken. And we, I was able to find one of the LA, but we're looking for the second one. Apparently there is two in here and I am not seeing the second one. <laughs> so this will be interesting. I need to make sure they are around and alive and hopefully well. There's the reason I'm here <laughs> and I had a feeling this guy, they were going to start floating off and by golly, that's what they were doing. So, uh, yeah, let me go find the second one and we shall see what happens next. Where did it go? I saw the second one. It is somewhere in here, but now it has disappeared from visibility. I know it's at least in here. I've also heard a ghast in here, so not thrilled. Oh, that's where the ghast is. Where did the Alley go? Hopefully it didn't get itself too injured or just fall into lava. I don't know much about Alleys. Great! That's, that's wonderful. Okay, we're at a bastion. That's, no, oh, not good. Did it just like disappear around the corner? What happened to it? Where did you go? Where did it go? Okay, so I have an update. We found the second delay. We've been <laughs> trying to get them back, but they are wily little creatures that like to go everywhere and they can break leaves. So that was a lot of fun to figure out. Now I we've tied one to the fence post, we've lost one and now we found one again and it, like we're at another fortress and all sorts of shenanigans and chaos and all sorts of things have ensued. I'm sorry you see none of it. Abby big. Yeah, so now I'm on tunnel duty and my server mate is uh, keeping track of the LA, which let me tell you, these guys are wily. They do not like to be kept track of. I have been abandoned and now I am rowing a boat over a wood boat over lava. Oh my god. But in the back of this boat is an Alley. So, ta-da! Little tiny Alley. Wonderful. We went past where we were supposed to go. That was my fault, but also not my fault, because, yeah. But we were running parallel to this line the whole time, pretty much. And I'm just like, great, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay because, you know, what matters is that you get there in the end and hopefully we get this guy home safe. And as you guys can see, I need to build out this even larger with a guest around. No guest. No guest. The LA is fine. As far as I can tell, mobs don't like to hurt them, but uh, they do like to hurt me and I would prefer not to be hurt anymore but this is the home stretch we're gonna get this guy home and if we come this way 
I know exactly where this goes. If we go this way far enough, in comes our previous builds and we have home. I'm still in for a bit of digging and uh, tunneling, but I think I can do it and we're at the home stretch. So I've been thinking about those alays that we gathered up and I'm thinking I might want some for myself. However, they went far. They went very far. So now I'm going to have to drag them through the overworld to the spot that I want. But guess what that means? More adventuring. Let's do it. All right, so I think we have everything that we're going to need for our journey. We got some leads because they are LAs are annoying. <laughs> we have some oak uh, We got some boats here, so when they become, when I need them to sit still, they can. We have fence posts to tie them to when they, I need them to stop moving for a second. We have a jukebox here for breeding them with the music disc, and the same for the amethyst shard. So. I think we got all the things we, that we need in order to breed the two that were already done and to make some make us some new LA's. Hello my little LA friends. I thought my server mate might have taken you here. Hello, hello. Alright, so I have the coordinates for my base. I'm definitely not gonna be taking these guys, and I'm not taking them through the nether. No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> but, okay. So now we need to breed them. So we need a jukebox with a disc. They need to get their dance on. And then supposedly, if we give them an amethyst shard. Hi. I wasn't expecting it that fast. I'm not sure what the guardians are shooting at. I'm gonna bring mine in here. I also thought there needed to be two of them, but no, apparently not. So it's okay. There we go. Oh, they love the music. Lay yearns. Interesting. Very interesting. They yearn for the music. Perhaps they yearn for something to do. All right, so we've got our little friend here and we are headed back to our base. Now, unfortunately, my server mate lives in a cold ocean with a lot of icebergs, but that's okay. It's it's gonna be okay, we'll figure it out. And LA's don't really love to be confined. They really like to be moving around. So, we have a long journey in the exact opposite direction of where we went. And do I know how to get out of here? Not at all. So this should be interesting. Again, we are down for the adventure. It's always continuing. <laughs> Let's see if we can just break one or two of these and we'll just... Uh... Oh no, 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 that's bad. Well, that's problematic. But this is exactly why we have uh, the fence post. <laughs> One day I will learn about water mechanics. Alrighty, so this is my base over here. As you can see, it's a, it's got a mess of stuff, and that's okay. That's okay because that helps me to get the warped blocks that I need, <laughs> and the the red nether warp tree blocks that I need. We have this section over here that has never had anything done with it, and we have almost this deliciously done circle around these two ponds. So here's what I'm thinking. What I, I've done some research on sniffers and they need 
20 blocks plus, okay, 20 plus blocks in order for them to be sniffing around. Now, I also just got the LA. And so here's what I'm thinking. We're going to put in a terrarium right over here. It's going to be a gorgeous, obviously. And we're going to get these sniffers working and get the LA's working. And it's going to be fabulous. And they're going to be able to roam around in large spaces. And it'll be wonderful. So let's get started. Check it out, guys. So we do have the perimeter in here, as you can see with the saplings. And yes, that's right. We are making a large tree. Well, sort of, kind of. I don't know what we're officially making, but I definitely wanted the wall of oak. It's something I've done in the past where you just line out something with saplings and then all of the saplings grow and they become oak trees and you instantaneously have a perimeter. Now I don't know if this is going to become a giant tree or whatnot, but in the center here is going to be our sniffers. And so I got a lot of work to do to get this area ready for all the things. I gotta go. <laughs> One and two. Now we wait. As you guys can see, we got the perimeter all figured out. So all of the wood is in there, so the sniffers will not be able to get out. The LA I still will not release because it still can get out. And it is going to be, I haven't duplicated it yet, but the two of them are going to be getting the supplies from the flowers that are dropped from the sniffers. That is what we've got going right now. I will see you guys when these guys start to hatch because who doesn't want to see baby sniffers? Of course I get bad women first. Don't appreciate these guys being in here. Oh my goodness, guys! Check it out! We got little snifflets! Look at them sniffing around! Sniff, sniff! Sniff, sniff! So, yes, uh, we got a bit of work to do. We're getting some lighting in here so that creepers and things like that aren't gonna spawn. I do have plans to put a roof on here so that I can get the LA's to be flying around and just uh, enjoying their time here. I am trying to make it seem like a decent place for these guys to live. I don't want them to feel like they live in really cramped quarters or anything like that. Uh, and there will be several note blocks around here that the LA's can drop off blocks to. And so yeah, we, we're, we're in the process. I got a plan. And just like that, we got some big sniffers! Look at the size difference between the LA and the sniffer. Little lumbering giants there. <laughs> oh, they're so cute together. I love this pairing. It's gonna go great. <laughs> as long as the sniffer doesn't step on them. Do they have six feet? I, I don't know these things. They do, they have six feet. How interesting! Oh my gosh. So, and apparently this one's sniffing around. He's digging. Oh my gosh. Our first seed. Oh my gosh. A pitcher pod. I don't know what that is. But <laughs> we're going to give it to this little guy. He's going to search around for pitcher pods. Which, I mean, he can't go very far right now. But, like I said, I have plans for him to be able to move around. And then when we get a second little lane in here, we'll get the other flower type. So that'll be awesome as well. But that's going to be the end of this episode. So leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And comment in the comment section down below.